So on the homestead, there's actually a chicken coop um, that's still standing, which is made from old sandstone blocks, as you can see, which was just painted. So quite a big area with a feed room on the end. Um, I decided just that it is such a big area and I'm only going to be getting four, four hens to start with. And there's a lot of work to be done. So I just decided to make a temporary plan until I can get a chance to actually do something with this space. So, so this is an old doll house that was made from um, cement boards and then just wooden pieces um, to keep it together. So it's not huge. Um, the roof needs a piece of metal, which I've already got, got a piece there. Um, and then I just need to find a way of actually putting the roof on here. This needs replacing here, this piece of wood. It's very weathered. But I'm just going to touch up the wood, um, make it more weatherproof um, so that we can get that to work. Um, we'll have to do something about the floor. I was thinking of just doing... Light is not great in here. Um, just putting plastic down and then either getting um, wood shavings or something like that that I can put in. Um, as I say, the roof from inside, you can see there's quite a big gap there, which I'd be worried about um, critters getting in. So that's why I say I just need to resolve. I was thinking of making a wooden frame that'll go all the way around and then with a slat through the middle like this one. And then attaching the roof to that so that there's no gaps. Um, I just need to ascertain is that actually going to work. But as I say, fairly good space for four chickens. So um, make a little perch for them. And then I'll probably look at just making, for now, just a small fence that comes maybe across to that fence. And then across the back, otherwise they can go through just to keep them safe. Um, as I say, because there's um, a space behind the this dollhouse as well, as you can see there. So, but that's basically what we're looking at turning into a temporary chicken coop. So the progress on our, our chicken coop convert um, so I've fixed all the battens um, I just need to get someone to push those because I can't hold it and screw them in but just need to get those then on the back side we also um, I replaced just two of the battens so that those were all because they'd rotted off at the bottom so now I'm going to take this batten and that batten and they're going to lie this way um, to do the roof. But before I get to that, um, I just want to clean that lot out. Get that clean because then I can at least stand up straight before I put the roof on. Then I've got to keep bending down. Then once that's done, I can do the roof. I can put the little windows back in. Um, let's just sort out the door. I can hang the door again. And then I've got some old wire that I'm going to use. They're the sheets for the roof. Then I'm going to make a just a fence piece here. Excuse the dog. Um, and then to the back there just to cordon off that little piece for them to run around as a, as a temporary coop. And then I'll sort out a gate and something like that. So let me get cleaning and then we can get started on the roof. So progress has got the windows in, as you'll see. Um, I just put chicken mesh over there so that things can't get in. Um, the door's on, and with the exception of its frame at the bottom being very skew, um, that's at least on. And you'll see I've got mesh there. So the idea with that, that when you put the roofing sheets on, they'll squash that flat. So in the winter time, I'm going to put canvas flaps over here just to block the worst of the um, wind or cold from going in but you'll still have the top piece there for ventilation um, in the in the coop 
then I put these two pieces on this side so just to hold the end of the, the roof sheeting here and on that side and then as I say just that's also for the gap on that side so I'll get the roof sheets painted and the holes sealed up those get installed and then we'll be ready to um, I'm going to put plastic down inside here just to make it easier to clean but I'm going to put pl a plastic sheet down and then I'm going to put wood shavings etc in there so and we'll get that done once the the roof is finished but yeah there was progress then we've just got to organize the little things and that's it Okay, so the coop itself is, um, so to say, finished. Um, I won't quit my day job, <laughs> but uh, not too bad for my first roofing job, I don't think. Um, all that's left to do is this piece that's not painted. Um, we're actually going to cut a section off there, um, level, because all the sheets were a different length. So. But otherwise, yeah, as I say. I won't quit my day job for, for roofing, but not too bad for a first time roofing. And then, uh, as I say, windows on, I've put the plastic inside as well. So the idea here is that I'm going to put all the, the sawdust and stuff on top of this, um, which will just make it easier uh, for lifting it up because then you can just take the plastic and pull it up um, for cleaning. So that was the idea there. As I say, and you can see mesh there that closes it let me just can't really see that one so well let's turn around and you can see this one so the idea for that was obviously the ventilation and also the drop on the roof for water runoff and then the mesh over these little windows which also does open so now I've just got to sort out fencing for around the the little coop house and then I can get my chickens so I'm quite stoked about that as I say come around the side also so yeah very stoked about that and just close the little door I'll also obviously have to do something about the door because it's not closing properly at the bottom but at the moment I've just got that little clip and there it is so I did the last part of the, the chicken project today so we've put up the fence here um, it was a bit of a cheat um, piece of fencing from where the silver one is uh, to the fence here. So this was actually part of the old veggie garden, which was just rolled up with the gates. So um, We've unrolled it. We've put in this one here with a the corner piece and then it actually fits it to there and then As I say the Gate is the old veggie garden gate. We put this piece in here I might have to just put a, something on the top there because it's not as high as it could be and then I also just put a piece of wire across the back because there's obviously gaps in that which goes through behind the, the coop for that. So got my gate here, I just need to make a latch for it. Here's the gate closed. That's basically, yeah, still need to cut that piece off. But yeah, there's the chicken house. And um, we've put the sawdust in it already. I'm not really sure if you can see there, but let's open the door. And then I just made a, took a pa small pallet because I had to use something that could fit through the door. And took the slats off and I just put two slats across for them to sleep on. So I still need to sort out nesting boxes. And I just need to put in their feeders. And the chickens can then arrive. So as I say, I put sawdust that I got locally i was very blessed to be able to get that so yeah chicken palace is 
ready for its occupants. The chickens arrived um, actually in the evening, so I just quickly put water and food in the, the coop. Um, much interest from um, Buddy and, and the other animals. So I got Easter egg, Easter egg chickens, um, two grey hens and two brown hens. And of course, uh, the beautiful rooster, it's a fully mature rooster, so he's beautiful. Thanks for hanging out with me while I uh, showed you how I made my coop. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you again next time. Bye for now.